Okay, so round three. This is the winner's final, and this will take us on to the grand final. So I think I'll start with the Pally deck again, because it's what I know, it's what I understand. And um, yeah, we're playing Jesper today. Um, I'll, of course, leave his details in the link below, or in a link below in the description. And um, yeah, I believe um, the winner of this goes on to the winner of the loser's bracket. So that could be anyone we've seen before. It could be uh, Mr. Rapalas. It could be um, Kendrick again. Who knows? But um, today we'll just focus on Jesper and trying to squeeze out three wins at the five games, hopefully. And um, yeah, it should be okay. should be fine. I don't know what he uses, so it could be... He could be fast decks, he could be hunters, it could be druids, he could be shammy. Shammy, I'm kind of concerned about shammy. Um, with all the shammy cards set in, and plenty of legendaries can become very scary by about turn 6 or 7, when they start putting out those fire elementals, and then earth elementals, and everything else that they have. Shaving, again, not a chance. So. Ah, we've got control v control. We go first, do we? Yeah. Um, so going first, we don't want any of this in our hand. So I'm going to get rid of all of you three. And hopefully we'll draw something pleasant. Well, um, it's okay. So the Blood Mage, I don't want to put him out straight away. Because that would just be bad for business. Um, and I guess we put out the Wild Pyromancer turn two. And if we put him out, of course he just dies to the hero power. We draw a card, but we don't really get the, the goodness. We'll do a little bit of a... Well met. So we've got a turn three now, which is nice. So, of course, this guy will probably get Wrathed. But it's nice to get him out on the board, at least so we've got something there. If he uses his Wrath on that... Oh, he's going to use a Claw. Is he going to coin something out? Indeed not. So we're going to put out the Harvest. Hmm... Now, turn four, what would I like? Something from the top of my deck. Um, so, going second, um, it's not been the best of starting hand, shall we say. I would have preferred to have seen a couple of knife jugglers or something like that, but... Innervate and scary... That's not too bad. Um, do I want to burn on equality this early? Probably not, to be honest. Hmm... Um Reporting for duty. Hmm. So I could put you out just to draw a card. Or I could throw down an equality and kill the dragon, but the, the, I mean keeping the equalities is gonna be important for like the latter stages of the game. I don't want to burn them too soon. Um I've got nothing to deal with this guy, so if I run my harvest into him, he'll just kill me with the hero power. Um, yeah, fuck it. If he's got a swipe, that's a good swipe for him. Um, but, I mean, what else could I do? I'd prefer to draw the card than have that sitting in my hand waiting for something better. So he's not going to use a swipe. But if we do get him to use his... Uh, he is going to use a swipe. On my face? Fair enough. That's a thing that happened. And now I have no... Uh, okay, so we're going to play... Sword of Justice, 1-1 one, one guy. So it's been a slow start so far. Got a lot of cards in my hand that I don't really have any use for. Um, next turn, whatever happens, at least we're going to kill something with the Argent Commander. That's a thing that can happen. He's used one swipe already, so we know that. He's used one claw. Um, we've got the Keepers of the Grove to worry about, the Druids of the Claw, maybe Iron Bark if he plays the Iron Bark, the big 8 8 trees. So he's going to hit me in the face. And he's going to take me out with a Wrath. Two damage, draw a card. That's fine. And then he's going to play uh, Hero Power, hit me in the face. That's fine. Okay. Cool. So we can start to work on the board now. Hello, you'll be useful. Never! You'd have been useful turn one, but what we're going to do here... We kill the dragon, get him out my sight. And then we can start building up the board. So next turn we can play Sunwalker and Argent Squire. Get a bit of control going on. 20 health isn't that bad. He's only 8 ahead. 
He's going to do another Wrath. Three damage. That's fine. And a Power of the War is a 3-2 Panther. That's a decent turn for me. Because it means we can start working on stuff. Having the Lay on Hands in there is just super good. Um, now, things to be concerned about, he probably runs a Faceless. So I'm expecting the Sunwalker to get a Faceless Manipulator in its face. Um, if that happens, of course, we can kill it with the Shattered Sun. If this is a particularly slow turn, he might play the 5-5 tree and take his two cards. Which he's probably going to have. Everyone runs the Ancient Allure. There's no one that doesn't. But does he have one in his hand, is the question. Nourish! So he's going to draw the three cards. That's a good turn for me. He might pop the shield. Is it... I think this is a lay on hands turn. I think. Oh! Uh, well, that's still good for me. To an extent. Is he going to run the panther into it? He is. He's not got a wrath. Is he going to claw? And he... What is he going to do? Innervate! Oh! And then he's going to do a. One of those big guys. Okay, that's fine. He spent, like, five cards dealing with that shit. <laughs> Which is totally cool with me. So what I could do... Yeah, I'm absolutely going to use the Lay on Hands here. So, we're now back. In fact, I have the advantage now. Although he's to play, I have the, the advantage here. So he plays the, the tree. Um, so with nine mana, I can do a five and a four. So I'm going to do one of you. Then we will play the sword. Get rid of you. And now we're starting to to build upon our, our little advantage here. So the, the next couple of turns could be um, crucial. Probably probably looking to play a Drake next. So he's faceless. That's fine. And then he's going to swipe. Um, hmm, well... Two, eight, nine, ten. I just need to hit it once with one of these guys. There we go. That's fine. He's used both his swipes. So we've got a, a bit of a board here that we can build up on. He's used one faceless, two swipes, two wraths, one of his trees, two starfall. So he's burning a lot of cards, a lot of removal. Where shall I and then he plays his cat. Why are you playing the cat? That's interesting. Well, what we're we gonna do? Um, I believe we will taunt up, kill the cat. Um, do we clock up the second sword in advance, or do we just play? Hmm. I'm just going to play a 1-1 one, one guy. And what we'll do is, if the 1-1 one, one guy survives, we'll give him a bit of a Shattered Sun, seeing to... So he's been going to face a little bit, which is interesting. Trying to wear me down too soon. You're on 8 cards, I'm on 11 cards. He's going to fatigue before I do. I must safeguard Silence. Okay. And then second root of the claw. So 
So in terms of life gain, we've got our True Silver, we've got our Guardian of Kings somewhere in there as well. So I've got the two Hammer of Wrath, which is going to bring me... Okay. I, with the Elden Ring Farseer, I oftentimes think perhaps it's better to use them on minions rather than on yourself. I just feel that that's a, a better suited way of using them. So I'm going to use the sword here to kill you. You're going to die. And um, I'm kind of concerned by force of nature now that I think about it. Hmm. That's a kind of scary, in, in fact, I didn't really consider it before, so if he's got a Force of Nature Savage Roar, I'm dead. So he doesn't. That's good to know. And with his 5 mana... 9 to 6. Okay. Taunt or Cat? He's going to use the Cat again on my face? He must have the Savage Roar combo then. He's going so much to face that it makes me think he does. So yeah, you can die. Oh, that's painful. Well, I'm going to try and take myself out of the Savage Roar range. And, um, yeah, just play one more guy. I, I, I need to play Terry and Ford ring next turn. He's got me dead, though. If he's got this Force of Nature Savage Roar combo, I'm dead. Which is a shame. Trees. Yep, knew it. Well played. Well played. I, I should have... Oh, phone. You can be quiet. I should have known that that would happen. Because... Yeah, he was going to face so often that it should have been the case that that was going to be a thing. So what we need to do now is go Warlock deck and beat him by turn 5. So this is probably going to be the, the round that I get knocked out and I should have known that's just me being bad, it's me not thinking about the game at hand. So it's 0 to 1. I must protect the uh, now we're going to mulligan all this and get some 1 drops. Well, I suppose that's a 1 drop, isn't it? Okay, so we've got our turn two now. Going first with this deck is actually a benefit. Um, we've got a nice selection of low-cost cards that we can play early on. And hopefully we can bamboozle him before he gets to the point of being able to do anything about it. So we've got a turn three now. Of course, he'll have innervates and all kinds of shit in his hand. The good thing about these little guys is they survive a swipe, unless he gets to them with something else, which is good. Coin and... Claw. That's fine. That of course means he negates the next two bits of damage that I give him, but these are, these are the things that we deal with. Yep, he's probably preparing for his swipe. Give me a... Hmm. Yeah, yeah, we'll play that out. I fight, I fight. Gives him a bit to think about. Next turn I'll probably play the Drake rather than the Doom Guard, because if I play the Doom Guard then I'm going to lose both these cards here, which is not very good. So, I'll put him in a position where if he uses a swipe, it's not going to kill everything, but it also wastes his entire turn. Is he going to do it? I must safeguard the land. That's fine. Uh, 
Uh, do I play the... I'll probably keep the soul fire in my hand for just now. Or will I? So let's see, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's nine damage, should it just go to his face? I mean, what can I do with the, the two, four? Hmm. No, I'll keep it as a finisher. I fight, I fight. Need to be aggressive, need to keep going to his face. Again, the Harvest Golem out of um, swipe range because if he swipes the Drake, he's not going to kill the Harvest. What I'll probably do in the next turn is power overwhelming the 1-1 one, one and kill the 2-4. So he did go with the swipe. Moonfire. No? Okay. Fair does. And do I use the power overwhelming? Probably not. Do I tap? Yeah, I'll tap. Nice. Um, good, okay. So I've got quite a lot of cards that can do fair amounts of burst damage, which is nice. I just need to be careful because this is now when it gets scary because he's going to be putting out some bigger cards, probably taunt. Okay. Okay. Nice. So. Um, hmm. I mean, I could defend her that, but it would be a bit silly to do so. So I'm probably just going to play this guy here. Do I power overwhelming this guy and do... Nine damage? Yeah, fuck it, why not? So, we win next turn. Unless he does something spectacular. We've got the... The the stuff to do it, basically. So what I'll probably do is tap, soul fire, and then use the doom guard. So what you got for me? He's thinking. He's thinking about it. I mean, four, five, six, seven, eight. I mean, I could really win with the, using the defender here, but he's going to use a swipe. I no? Keeper of the Grove? Okay. And with the three, probably hero power and take care of that guy, which takes him to eight. Now, knowing the game, as I do, um, what's going to happen here is when I play the soul fire, it's going to get rid of the Doom Guard. If that happens, then we've got a Siphon Soul in our hand. So what I'm going to do is tap. Don't get rid of the Doom Guard, please. Fucking beautiful game. So. 1-1. One, one. It's not over yet. I think I gave myself too much of a, a bad time in the first game. But, oh, we get a Golden Soulfire Hallow Warlock. Thank you. Very good. So, we stay on Warlock. I can see this probably going all the way to the five games. Oh, Pally. So is it double control deck? Interesting. Where were you in the last game, you damn hound? None of that's good because none of them are a one drop. We need something that costs one mana. That'll do, I suppose. We get the coin this time. If we can get a f um, flame imp, that would be nice. No flame imp. Okay. Well, next turn, what we'll do is we'll probably give a shattered sun to this guy. Or do we? Or do we tap? Do you like to play with fire? Nah, we shattered sun him. And kill that 3 2. We must cleanse the sun well. Because I can't be having you having that one damage over all minions kind of dealio. 
Just not cricket. So where are the flame imps? Where are they? Mind if I roll need? Mm-hmm. Indeed. Um, hmm, well. Guess we're gonna tap. No one drops. Push forward. Gonna hit you in the face. You can do what you want with your loot hoarder. If it doesn't die... Ah, oh well. There it is. One, one guy. Hmm. What I could do is dog. Um. Or I could just shattered sun the shattered sun. But I was thinking dog and tap. But what I could do is just defender. I'll make it a 4-3. Which will die to what he has. Hmm. So many possibilities. Um, mm-hmm. It's, it's an interesting choice because I don't want to fall behind. That's the the problem here. That if I play Yeah, sack it. Push forward. Just keep going to his face. That's the that's the, the whole deal with this deck. I shouldn't be precious about it. If he wants to kill my minions, then fair enough. Which he probably will do. I mean a consecration would have been very good for him there, but clearly he does not want to use it or he doesn't have one. Might use one here. It would be a waste of a consecration, that's for sure. Knife juggler, one one guy. Reporting for duty. Would have to hit directly. Okay, so. Um, five mana. What do I want to play? Three, four, five. He can't kill a doom guard. With what he has. So fuck it. We've got a second Doom Guard and an Argent Commander in our hand. This is pretty cool. So if I play the Argent Commander next. Then, I mean, what he might do is equality here. He, oh, he's using equality on that Doom Guard. That's great for me. Please miss. Of course it doesn't miss. The Knife Juggler for the opposition to me never misses. Has never missed a turn once. Right, so. Hmm. Interesting. Three, four, five, six. To so, um, if we play the Doom Guard, that takes us up to nine damage. That gives him three left. So, Doom Guard power overwhelming. So, 18 minutes. Yeah, this one's slipping away, sadly. Wait, hold on, hold on. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Would have to get rid of both the cards I was looking to play. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, yeah. Not ideal. Pally's got too much good life gain for for this matchup, and the deck's just not fast enough. It could be faster. But he's going to throw his minions at it, which is cool with me. Because then that means I can shadow flame it like a pro. Lay on hands. That what? That's, um... Weird. Uh, 
Uh, hmm. I should probably kill this. Do I tap? Yeah, fuck it, I'll tap. Hmm, that, that's interesting. I've never seen someone miss a lay on hands. I wonder what happened. I mean, that's the kind of thing that, like, will change a game. Um, although I don't think I'm going to win this, though, because it's went on too long and I don't have the cards necessary to deal with what he's got, probably, because he's got a handful of cards. To Northrend. Okay. What we can do here is Doggy and Shadow Flame. Okay. Well, I guess I'm just gonna siphon soul it then, because fuck that guy. Um. So now it's just all about trying to stay alive. I mean, siphon soul normally is quite slow for a deck like this, but it's like a contingency plan for me in my head, because I know I'm never gonna win. <laughs> Um, if I'm never going to win by like turn, say, 6 or 7, then it's always good to have one. Yeah, Yep, th there's nothing that I can do with a golden Tyrion oh. Ford ring. Well you win. I, I know straight away that there's nothing that I can do with this deck, so... Oh well. Moving back to the Paladin deck, so that's two, three, uh, two, one, sorry, or one, two, two. Yes, poor. <laughs> oh, it doesn't matter, he still won anyway. So if he wins this, he wins the game outright. I think I've been outplayed pretty much through the... Th um, I'm going to keep the knife juggler. I think I've been pretty much outplayed though. It's been a poor day for me and I'll admit it. I, I admit when I'm bad. So nothing to play turn one. We pass the turn. That bug annoys me because it makes me think the game's fucked. But it's not really. It's just the way that the... Um, if you click end turn too quickly on turn one, it tends to do that. Hmm. Yeah. If he wants to swap, say those fair dues. Not on my way. Fine by me. I mean, this dies to this fucking guy here, but what can we do? That's fine. Sword the fuck out him. And um, next turn, I don't really know. Maybe a knife juggler and a and a something. He's gonna hit me in the face. Man, he's got a strange way of playing with control decks, because he plays them very aggressively, which is interesting. I've never seen someone play them not like that. But, uh, hmm, yes. He Did, didn't have a Blessing of Kings before, but that doesn't say, that doesn't mean he doesn't have one, it's just that I didn't see one. Um, hmm, what to do? I should probably hit him in the face. Let me but I should also probably knife juggle her in 1-1 one, one guy. Yeah, we'll try it this way. We'll try some of his game. We'll see what hitting in the face does for us. It gives us life gain, of course, but... Um, how does it benefit us in the long run? Who knows? Okay. 
concentration. Is it gonna hit me in the face again? No, he didn't that time. Okay. Nice of you to join us, you fucking guy. Um, so I don't want to play this guy because he dies to it, but it dies to the sword that is. I'm just gonna play sword of justice in a one-one guy. Then I'll play the big old Guardian of Kings next. Okay. He's very insistent on rushing me down, it's an interesting play. Um, hmm. Well, I guess this is our only option. And I ping the shield? Yeah, fuck Watch it, I'll ping justice. the shield. So, I could hammer a wrath next turn. He's still got the Argent Protector in his hand, probably, or on his deck at least. So he's gonna hit me in the face. Has he won this turn? Follow the rules. No, he's not one at all. He's just uh, messing with me. Reporting for duty. Hmm. Oh, eh, well. A hammer or at his face? No, that's a silly idea. Why would I do that? Reporting for duty. Put your faith in the light. Okay, that's good for me. Hmm, well. Firstly, we do this. Next, we do um, this. Then we do. Maybe I should have done the equality first, but then he would have died. Oh, it doesn't matter. It's all one and the same. Um, and then I do probably this, then Hammer of Wrath. No, not Hammer Wrath, just kill him with this. Yeah, fuck it. And then... That five damage is kind of scary, but... Um, fuck, I'm gonna Hammer Wrath his face. Job's done. Please, Tyrion, you would be rather welcome. Oh, great. So he's basically won. Well, that's it. Well played to Jesper.